Hey guys, so today let's compare the most awaited space telescope, that's the James Webb Space Telescope, to the telescope that we all know and love, that's the Hubble Space Telescope. First, let's compare the obvious difference, that's their size. So the primary mirror of the James Webb Space Telescope is about 6.5 meter in diameter, which is significantly larger compared to Hubble's mirror which is only 2.4 meters in diameter, which gives James Webb about 6.2 times more collecting area than Hubble. Webb's sun shield is about 22 meter by 12 meter and it's about the size of a tennis court, whereas Hubble is the size of a tractor trailer. So what will be the major difference that we'll see when the new telescope goes in space? Hubble mainly looks in optical and UV range and a little bit into the near infrared range, whereas James Webb's instrument will work in the infrared range of the electromagnetic spectrum. So why was infrared range selected over the optical or the UV or any other range? So if you want to look in the distant past of our universe, you have to look billions of light years away from home. But the light coming off from those galaxies are shifted in the infrared part of the spectrum because as we know the universe is expanding. So the James Webb will help us to look far back in our universe and see as the first galaxies and stars were being born. And the second bigger advantage of James Webb having the infrared range is so the stars and the planet that are just forming lie behind the dust and gas that surround them. And this dust absorbs all the visible light so we can't see through them. However, infrared light emitted by these regions can penetrate out of the surrounding dust and hence we can see the formation of stars and planets inside the dust. James Webb will also have the mission to look into atmosphere of exoplanets that Kepler has discovered to search for building blocks of life. So to study the exoplanet it will use two techniques that's the transit technique and spectroscopy. James Webb will help us look further back in the past of our cosmos and help us see how the first stars in the galaxies formed and even help us to find more Earth-like planets. That's it for today. Please do like the video, share the video with your friends. I put a new video every Thursday, so stay tuned for that. And as always, stay curious, stay awesome.